Gaming, Invader, Filming, Glitter Central, Center Network, and the latest information of your wires coming up now. Hello, YouTube listeners. This is the Archers Invader for the Breaking Weather Report. So let's get right into it right now. Um, hold on one minute. And we will see that your latest weather report is coming up right now. So what's our latest weather trusted weather report? We are moving it right now, so let's get through it. First, first topic of the day, we will have our weather report update live show. Let's keep watching this. So, let's just load the ready. Here is your latest weather report, and here we go. So, here's your 2018-19 winter outlook for the first time on this channel. Yeah, I know I'm behind, but this is a, but this. No, this is the first video of it, and this is how much snow you will see, depending where you live, and according to all the data, and according to the all the data, we have some, some not be, so remember, no, some data might, may be wrong, half of this is true, half false, so don't get me wrong, this might be wrong, so, I don't think some of these might be wrong right here, but make sure if it's wrong, I'm very sorry, but this might be true. But this is the data, because yesterday I was doing this and it had no time, so I took a lot of my time. So, so in the circle right here in, in South Florida, you will see no snow at all. Even in South Texas, no snow, no snow for New Mexico, no snow for half of Arizona. Inches one to five inches. Then we have no snow here in California. That includes Los Angeles and South Florida, but but we might see snow here. But there's a chance of snow here. If you're not in the circle, you won't see snow. Okay, some areas in circle will not is no snow, okay? And we also not see no snow here in Utah, half of Utah, and no snow here. And yeah, maybe we might see one inch of snow for here. I don't know if there's one inch of snow here, one or below, but depending the data from the last one for Winter Storm Diego, Winter Storm Diego brings snow for California. I didn't know there's snow here, but you should just check that. I know there was snow, some snow here. That's why the data from now are added Winter Storm Diego, Winter Storm Diego snowfall too. To California, so I put one half one inch here. Ten, 10 to 20 inches for North North, Car North California, Nevada, one to five inches. North of Utah, five to ten inches. Ten to fifteen for Colorado, Kansas, fifteen to twenty-five inches. Oklahoma, five to fifteen inches. Arkansas, five to fifteen inches. And 5 to 10 inches for Louisiana, 5 to 10 inches for Mississippi and Alabama, and even Georgia, 5 to 15 inches. Yeah. Also, I want to give to a shout out to Adarian uh, for the best in the weather report. I love to get a shout out because he's the best person. You should subscribe him. And link is in the description. I have, and yeah, his channel will be linked in the description. So make sure to subscribe Adarian because he's the best person he's the best weather reporter and he lives in Georgia and he lives in Hall County so I want to give him a shout out for the best reporting and the best news and the best weather report too. I and David Hampton Hawker. I'll give him a shout out to him too. So South Carolina one to ten inches and North Carolina will see five to thirty inches. Why? You added thirty inches. Well this is the first time that what is for the angle break heavy snowfall so that's why I have to put the number up to 30 inches so yeah why I have to do this late because it's good for the to know what snowfall was the data from and not doing it early I know people like to do it early but I'm just gonna put the snowfall for it so predicting the early snowfall will be easier so everybody knows 10 to 15 inches for Tennessee 5 to 30 inches for uh, North Carolina 10 to um, 5 to 15 for Kentucky, 
Kentucky, and 15 to 20 inches in Virginia, 20 to 30 inches in West Virginia, and in the in the in the I I can't pronounce it in the Dina. But 5 to 15 inches here. I'm sorry, in a, in a line. If I can't read it, I don't know what to say because I'm getting good today a bit. So I'm very busy with this. So yeah. 5 to 20 inch, inches in Ohio. Uh, 15 to 30 inches in Pennsylvania. New Jersey. 15 to 35. Clues to Delaware. Washington, Washington D.C. to Maryland. Then 15 to 20 inches for Rhode Island. Um, New York. I mean, um, um, Massachusetts. And 15 to 40 inches for New York. 15 to 40 inches. And 15 to 25 inches for some parts in Canada and half of New York here. But 15 to 45 inches for Maine here. Also, if we go below down here, 5 to 15 inches inches for for um, uh, Michigan. And 10 to 15 inches for Wisconsin. And 10 to 15 inches for Minnesota. And 15 to 20 inches for Iowa. 15 to 25 inches for Missouri and 15 to 25 inches for Kansas too. If I said that already, I keep forgetting. I don't know what I'm doing. 15 to 20 I think so. And for North and South Dakota, they have the same number, 10 to 15 inches and 10 to 15 inches with Minnesota too. 10 for 10 to 15 inches for uh, Wyoming, 10 to 15 inches for uh, Minnesota. No, that's not Minnesota. That's Montana. Montana. Is that, that's Montana, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that Montana? Okay, that's up. That's Montana. I Idaho one to five inches. Oregon one to five inches. And Washington, Washington one to five inches. So the color key is right here. You know. And Alaska has about. And Hawaii would be no snow at all. Don't count Hawaii because it's not in this list, but it won't be no snow at all. Alaska will see snow about, um, the chance is 20 to 30 percent. I don't know why I didn't add Alaska with the numbers, and I'm sorry. It's very hard work here trying to get the information. So, equal chances for the... Now, here's your rainfall outlook for the winter. So, people in the white have equal chances. For around 40 states, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, Nebraska. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry for that. I I'm sorry if I can't pronounce it. It's a hard, it's a very bad vo bad voice here. Sorry. Um, with Coming, South, South um, Dakota, North Dakota, and, and Montana and Washington. So heavy rain. So have if people, if you're in the dark rain, you will see heavy rain from the line from, from the line from Texas all the way up to Maine. So mostly will be in central, U, South Central U.S. moving up to the Southeast coast and all the way up to the northeast. And that includes all these states right here, Texas, here, through here, all the states. And mostly you'll find heavy mostly heavy rain will be from Georgia. So I'll tell the name who have the most rain. Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, um, Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Washington, DC. Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, Rhode Island, New York, and Maine will see the heaviest rain, very, very heavy, and maybe up to a lot of inches. Yeah, maybe we'll have a lot of heavy rain in snow with that too. So we'll have a lot of, lot of heavy rain up to about 10 to 10 inches, or 75 or 7 inches. If, if not. Next up is our Climate temperature outlook for the 2018-19 winter outlook. So we have about so so equal chances for for these states during this block that's here 
you have the equal chances for cold or hot temperatures. So, let me just say it. Minus 3 to minus 5 degrees cold. Darker blue is wearing this zone to the test of very cold temperatures. Do not count Florida because... Also, do not count Florida with that minus 3 because... Yes. Only count minus 1 degrees because this is a special color for Florida. Florida has minus 1 degrees or equal chances. So don't count Florida with this dark blue. So it, it's a special color for Florida because Florida is always like the sunshine state. You know that. Minus 2 degrees for blue zone if you live there. You have minus 2 degrees. Minus 2 degrees below for the freezing mark or wind chill. Below average temperatures. Very below. Minus 1 degrees, lighter blue if you're in these areas. Half of Colorado, Colorado, Colorado would be um, minus 1 degrees. But equal chances for the whole Colorado. Maybe if you live here, you might see that, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. So if you live in these areas, you have a chance of minus 1 degrees, lighter blue for these areas. Equal chances for Washington, Oregon, Nevada. Nevada, um, North California, North Arizona, and North Arizona, North, um, um, North, Northwest, New Mexico, Colo um, um, West, Colorado, Wyoming, Idaho, and Minnesota. Yeah. I keep forgetting these words these days, okay guys? Oh sorry, but I'm just gonna skip that part. So so if you're in this so so people not in the eagle chance like California is, you will see like the red is bad part means you see about one degree up. Yeah. This might change soon, but yeah. As we get through the future we might see global warming. And we might not see these anymore, so this could disappear. So we have a El week to a moderate El Nino season today, ne this year. But yeah, as we keep going up to the sea, the future, we will not see this in anymore. This minus two minus five will be gone in the future, maybe, and we might see this only. Then by the by year, by we get very very close to very hot global warming, we might see this. Then we only will see all this red, yellow, orange, all this bright red on this map instead of, and we see it from Hawaii even to Alaska. They both have equal chances, but not the snow, okay? So everybody, it's the summer right now, right? So we have a, so here's the 2018-19 white Christmas chances. Might be true or false. Warning, data, so here's for warning, data might change. A bit. I don't know why this can but I don't know. I'm sorry. So people in this weird shape right here, this this shape right here, this this angle right here. If you if you live in this angle sh box, you will not see no snow at all. Huh? No snow here for well, white Christmas. Would not be snow for white Christmas. I'm sorry, but if you live right here, don't count this. I'll just okay. Okay, let me just okay. If you live like right here, well, yeah, some of parts of California will see snow because I messed up this bit. Sorry for the mess up. I'm very sorry. I'll try to prove in the future. I'm very, very sorry. And, and yeah, Hawaii will not see snow at all for white Christmas. There's no chance. Alaska has a 60% chance of a white Christmas, followed by 1.2% for Georgia, and 1.5% for Alabama. Florida will not see snow. Um, um, south of Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, South Texas, but I'm giving half of the Texas will see snow because white Christmas, all the moms might be showing that we could see snow here, so... Yeah, uh, we have a 2.5% for Tennessee, uh, 
1.5%, Louisiana, 35 to 40% from Texas, New Mexico, 35%, 35 35% from Colorado, 30% Utah, 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 Nevada, 35%, Oregon, and, and Washington or Oregon, and Oregon, you see, 45% in Oregon and Washington, D.C. I mean, Washington, 45%. And a 45% for um, Idaho. And all, as we, and, yeah. So here's your colors right here. All the color trees. And, and look, you're sitting on this map. So, so the darker you get, the darker the chances you will see a white Christmas. So, so if you're in the dark, in, a, in the half, so if you're live, so yeah, um, if you're in the brighter blue and the darker blue, here's, this is a lighter blue in the darker blue. You is in darker blue. You will see a high chance of a white Christmas. Even from here and here, Iowa has a high chance. So people, many fans from Iowa, they told me that you will see a big white Christmas. Yes, indeed, everybody, you, you've seen White Christmas a lot, so it's a 102%. Yeah, so and that's the end of the Winter Outlook. Thanks for watching my videos, and my videos, and here, and yeah. Thank you for watching the Winter Report, and next is your breaking news report coming up right now. Breaking news, I'm Ricky Trend. No. I'm Invader. My name is Invader with the news today. First, we are going to talk about the highlights here. Strong highlights. Yeah. Can you hear it? Okay. So here's our highlights right now. So first, before we talk about the news, here's a flash to update from the weather date. Water report game is just for for people who live south south um for some um, people who live south east Georgia north east Florida and south east Georgia has a pro a freeze and a cross advisory includes Orlando too so that's another update and people who lives in um, North Carolina has has to the winter water advisory might expire soon or later by so let me just check when it expires. Will expire soon. This will expire soon. Will expire soon tomorrow or Thursday. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. And we've got a big storm right here. We'll be monitoring this tomorrow too. So stay tuned to the latest information. We'll be tracking this northwest storm and blizzard warning. All this mess right here. And storms and more many storms here. That's all the weather update. Now here's your breaking news. So they breaking news when we so and here's more information about Donald Trump news here. So I never mentioned about Donald Trump, but we're gonna talk what Yeah. When I just put this in Yeah. So So I check this up like if Donald Trump gets kicked out of the White House so we could see yeah and when I see this metric right here I says I am proud to shut down the government Trump Hill Shelf Room Radio sorry for that sound and White House banned CN CNN reporter from the event for inappropriate questions. Yeah. Some kids hate Donald Trump, but I'm very sorry. But I wanna I this is very scary to mention about Donald Trump. But this is a news. So right here. Yeah. 
When I search it though, it says, I am proud to shut down the government. Are you proud you will shut down the whole government and you are not going to take this compensation? Are you serious? This says, he will shut down. He will shut down the federal government if he doesn't get funding for his planned border wall. Excuse me, what a block in Mexico for immigrants. I know that's good news, but you don't know there's a lot of families who hate that in Mexico. And I can understand that, but you're, if that wall doesn't mean you're gonna shut down the whole government. Are you, you're not, are you proud to shut down that government? And you're gonna, your border wall, you're, excuse me, you're gonna shut down this whole, Government. You know the government's forcing to us? And if without government, you are taking out full control. You're like, you're taking out a lot of control with this state, of this country, okay? If you, you don't, don't take out much control, you're going to shut down the whole government. Like, this is your boss, you're the king of this country, okay? So, if you were what be built, he would not shut down this government. In Mexico, we have to, and the people in the United States who have to come to Mexico, we have to say hi to them because they, some people have a lot of family members in Mexico, and you know that. Then, then if they don't have this law bill, Donald Trump will be mad. He will be very mad. He just trying to shut down this whole government for one reason about Mexico, immigrants. Because Mexico, okay? I know immigrants, okay? Okay. You have to keep this country safe. If you shut down this government, you cannot shut down this government. If this government gets shut down, we will have you lose. I will be, I will be seriously. Like, no more service for us in this country might be not. So that's not the latest breaking news. Yeah. That's the latest breaking news. Only one breaking news today. In other stories, some people. The most of my viewers live in Atlanta, so let's go to Atlanta with breaking news right now. I'm using WPTV news right here. Cause yeah, we got a lot of breaking news here. So I want to show you somebody, show you something. Right here. Yeah. News that Delta bans puppies as service animals. Okay, so here's a lot of news here. This is my interesting news if you like puppies as service animals. Well, Delta Ben, Delta Ben, puppies as service animals. Everybody asked me about that question in Atlanta. Then we got another question here. Um, yeah. Then, I'm gonna break the news. Well, yeah. There's all the breaking news here. I'm not gonna say that much, but yeah. So let's talk about the video camera. I heard there's a high speed chase right here, right here. You you see, Covido County I-85 reopens after armed teenagers in the mid in the mid teens or twenties led officers on high speed chase on I-85 at Covido County. So want to see that video? That was like, it's a high speed chase. Yeah, that is like a high speed chase that can shut down all lanes. And many people on that time would complain about that. Like, yeah. Nobody wants to hear that. Because people hate being stuck in traffic. Like, also, here's a video right here. So fuck five. Mind this ad right here, quick mind this ad, we're going to turn this off, start to do ad very loud, and if it's loud for you right now, I'm very sorry, just dash cam video of a high-speed chase and shots fired in Coweta County. It all started when someone reported their iPad stolen from a car at a gym in Noonan. The victim used an... Another device to trace the iPad to a Lowe's parking lot on Bullsboro Drive. When Noonan police arrived, a white Jaguar sped out of the area, leading to the chase you see here. Uh, the suspects eventually bailed after officers used a spike strip.
Officers tasered one of the suspects and caught him running after them there. The other ran off, forcing the northbound lanes of I-85 in Coweta County to be shut down. At one point, investigators say the suspect held up a gun. Coweta deputies fired shots, but no one was hit. About 90 minutes later, officers found him hiding under a pile of wood. The Coweta County Sheriff's Office tell us both suspects are 17 years old and they were both wanted both wanted wow. for other crimes around. That's a very intense case I've seen in a few. Okay. And it looks like the traffic in a traffic in a landfill. A landfill. Let's look at Atlanta traffic right now. Look at this. Let's look at the traffic right now. Yeah. Okay, you remember yesterday on the last video that we were talking about um, that there was there's black ice on the road. Yeah, black ice in Atlanta. Yeah. There was like black ice in the road. We have a lot of traffic concerns here, but yeah. About Winter Storm Diego's highway coverage here. There's a traffic report right now. So, so North Carolina has to cover, and all I mean, the highways are now good because last yesterday or Sunday, the traffic was very bad. Everything was full of a mess. As what is from Diego bring heavy snow for them in North Carolina. Yeah. Also, I got a question for New Yorkers and answer for them. Why do you, why you have most traffic concerns in, yeah, New Yorkers need to know how to drive in snow, because, because this map may be all dark red by soon, and New Yorkers cannot drive in snow, they could be making a lot of crashes, so, New York needs to know how to drive, so, yeah, also, the National Weather Service in the morning today, on Tuesday, December 11th, there was black eyes from there's a lot of traffic concerns. I don't know that black ice on Florida roads, but if there's remaining black ice from the precipitation from the rain and snow and mix from winter from Diego, it might so and snow and rain, freezing rain from overnight, cold rain, they didn't have, and London didn't have snow anything. But if they had mixed freezing rain, black ice, remaining of black ice could refreeze on roads, but I don't know that's but I don't know it will not it will happen again, but for people who live on I-25, right, I mean, I, I'm so very dumb today, okay, I'm so stupid, people who drive, who is driving on these interstates do not see black eyes, but it's not a concern, but some remaining black eyes could be on the road, so just, just extra caution, extra time, but you won't see black eyes, but if you do see black eyes, I'm not helping. So nobody will not see a black ice, but it just grows slowly, yeah. All the black ice should melt it right now. And it was like, um, 20, 28 and 34, 28 minutes just recorded this, and right now, we're still there. Also guys, for not a breaking news, make sure to check, make sure to check out, um, um, make sure to check out, um, our, um,
in Los Angeles are seeing a big traffic for over the 405 Los Angeles, Los Angeles International Airport over the 405. Certainly seeing a lot of bad traffic accidents over the for, over the Los Angeles I-80, I-5 to I-10. We will report more accidents on I-20 tomorrow. So if there any more accidents, breaking news. More traffic concerns, people stuck in traffic here. If you live in San Jose, you will see a lot of traffic moving to San Francisco right here. Talking about that San Francisco Bridge. Yeah. I mean, at the Golden Gate Bridge, it will be fine. And yeah, moving up to a lot of traffic concerns around California. We're not in good traffic, traffic a lot here in San Francisco. Sacramento and moving up, you see good traffic as you head north. Looking at here in Canada and the Washington or Oregon, you're seeing traffic here in Seattle and Portland. Looks like big traffic and major traffic here. Let's move to, to these areas. We're looking at Phoenix here, not so bad concerns. Denver traffic too. Look at Dallas and Austin and Houston. Look at this. Big traffic, but I'm not worried about that. We're worried about the north, the the west. So, as a new windstorm, you there's a northwest windstorm that would move from Washington in Portland in Oregon. I don't know yet, but we will see a windstorm that impact heavy rain could impact more traffic even Vancouver too in Canada. But I don't know if it's not going to not. Stay tuned for more information. Look at this traffic in here in Florida. Looks like now we're going to go to the central. Now, this is your central traffic right now. Good traffic concerns from here, from New Mexico. Good traffic here in Houston. Then, then Antone, Austin, Dallas, Kansas City. You're looking at good traffic for central here. It's good hand though. As we move to the east, you're not looking good. Good traffic. Um. We don't need to worry about Florida, actually. It, it's not, it's just, it's good traffic in night today. Mm, I don't know if some traffic here in Miami, but we're not worried about that. A lot of traffic, traffic here in Atlanta, but we're not mostly worried about that traffic in Atlanta. We already talked about that. Moving from Charlotte up to Maryland, we're talking about big traffic here in New York. And we have traffic, but we're not concerned about that since we see that every day to our travel report. Thank you for watching the United your local traffic traffic report on Evaders filming filming news weather network. Coming up for more information on reports now. Here is your local sport sport. Here's your weather report right now. And after the weather report for the whole United States, we will move on to the next Here in downtown Atlanta. 
Atlanta, ATL, ATL. We're talking about ATL here. And cuz, what? Like, what? Let's just watch the video. Now, don't worry. What good was it today? The ATL win? Let's watch the video. Getting I gotta get it off me so you can see what's going on out here. Your name neighborhood public Alex wants to help you. I'm sorry for this. Why is it like memories with a chance to win a one hundred fifty dollar gift card every day until Christmas, plus a grand prize of twelve hundred fifty dollars. Register online today and start your countdown. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. You know, cold morning, but this morning, let me tell you, Peachtree and Baker is on fire. People started lining up just to be out here around 8 o'clock this morning. They were riled up as soon as they saw us get out of our truck with the camera. They said, game on. They are so excited to celebrate the Atlanta United team for winning the MLS Cup. And, you know, many people said, you know, we knew we would have it this year. We knew we would have a parade. So it's Monday morning, and they are ready you can see the truck going by right now. They're throwing soccer balls, kind of like little soft soccer balls. People are like, one just kind of went off my head. Wish you could have saw that on camera. But they're riled up out here, Linda and Fred, and I'm going to be out here the whole time. And in one of the first vehicles that was Atlanta United owner, Arthur Blank, with his wife, Angela. You can see on their scarves, it said champions, because they are 2018 champions. And, you know, you have to understand, that's a beautiful moment for that family. Two years ago, this was a, a, a dream that a lot of folks wondered, is, is, is this going to work out? Mm -hmm. Well, two years, and we know, because we have the championship right now. And I mentioned before, as you see the, the parade route right there, and you see the... the the people making their way down, waving right now. Open air buses. Open right air there. buses, and you see here the crowd cheering. Two years ago, people were wondering, "Well, is is this going to work?" And as you hear the chant right there, ATL, ATL, ATL. It has definitely worked, as we are the MLS champions. Just two years after expansion, it is a sweet victory for so many fans out there. Wow, that's the Atlanta United. They win ATL. ATL, yeah, that was nice. Yep. Great play here. Yeah, yeah. Ladies, another senior sports news. Sport news topic for other sport news. Let's go to ESPN here. There's all our latest sports news here. Coming up, let me just scroll down a bit for the sports news. Latest news. Saw the sports news because we got to end this early. We were live for 38 minutes. Great record. So that's all the sports news, and thanks for watching this sport. Have a bright day. Thanks for watching your weather report, your news, and your local sport. See y'all later. Have a great day. Also, before we leave, so make sure to check out our our Discord Vivly. So make sure to check out our website. So for more information, check out our our website number one information update for your area. So you got your announcement blog about winter storm, or about your weather and the hot topic that is very interesting. So yes, we got some pictures right here. Some pictures of winter storm Diego we posted, and make sure to check it out. We got your weather news report, the latest weather report here, and all the weather report here. Then we got your gallery of the break the news this year. Got some snow and on gallery from this news this year. Yeah. And you can contact us if there's something wrong with it and we will try to get your idea and if you see this button, this is linked to YouTube, you get more videos here.
So, for people who, to make sure they, to, you, make sure you like and subscribe this video, okay? And you press this, you got everything here. This is the biggest place. Where by news is more, if you press this button, you got news over here. Then breaking news pictures, all this news, that is the latest topic. And, and that here, and we mentioned this news already. Then you got your snowfall, you're here. You made the, man, this is made for the people, for the highest technology. Pictures of the latest news and most historic. Okay, guys. And, and you've got your sport, news report right here. Got, we, we talked about Atlanta United wins in this right here. So make sure you check out your sports report and all the pictures right here. So make sure you check our website out and make sure you check our Twitter right here. Make sure you follow us on some Twitter for more saving water information. And yeah. So we got your snowfall right here and all this junk. So make sure you stay tuned for the invader for our news weather report and sport too with it. So have a great day and thanks for joining the news report recording for 41 minutes. So thanks for joining everybody and have a great day. See y'all tomorrow if we can record if I'm busy or not. But we'll see tomorrow. Stay tuned and have a great day. And bye bye everybody. Have a great day. See y'all later. Bye.